All right, so here's our Synology DS220J, two-bay NAS drive. Let's open it up. Obviously, there's the drive. No cables, power cable. Screw and so forth. Some status lights, power button on the back, two USB cables, Ethernet port, and power plug with one fan. From our previous video, two hard drives. All right, first up's first. We got to open this up. slides forward, comes off. The part that slides forward is the larger plastic part. Pop it off. All right, so when it comes to putting the drives in, um, let me just show you something real quick. If you take the WD Elements drive that you shucked out of the enclosure, and if you were to put it in here, right? So let's see, you put it in all the way. You notice you have two screw holes here on the Synology. But then, uh, looking at the drive, there are only two um, screw holes on each side, right? This last one is not gonna line up with anything. In the Synology box, you get a bracket that you can attach to right here. So these two nubs are gonna go in, then you have two screw holes. And if you look at the screws that come with it, uh, these are the ones, I don't know if you can see it, that will go in and secure this bracket in place. Just like that. Um, see, problem is it's gonna be kind of pain to get these in. Alright, don't over tighten. Then second screw. Okay, next we can actually put the drives in. So look at where you have your connector. Start with the bottom drive, put it in place, and gently push it in. There we go. Do the same thing with the second drive. Again, connectors this way. Put it on the shelf here on these brackets. And then again, slowly push it in. You can turn it so that you can actually look at the connector. Make sure that it lines up. When you push down on the bottom, push on the bottom, not on the fan. The fan is a little bit flimsy. And push. There we go. Now it's seated. So let's put the bolts in. These have nice rubber washers or grommets to limit vibrations. Again, no screw hole in this one. So let's do one side at a time. The 
other side. Again, make it snug, but don't over tighten. And now let's see if these last two line up. And they do, it's almost as if they thought ahead. All right, so that's it as far as the inside of the enclosure goes. So next step is to close this up. There you go, put it on like this. Push it in place. Turn it back this way. Now in the box, you also have these plastic screws. It comes with three, so we have one extra. So put these in. Definitely don't over tighten these. And that's that. There's a Synology drive ready to be set up. Obviously next you're going to want to plug this in, so we went over the back already. Ethernet cable is going to go here, power cable will go in here, and other end of the Ethernet cable is going to go into your router, and that's where you're going to start setting it up. <laughs> 